Hey everybody, it's Aaron. Today we're going to be talking about the application MP3 gain. The purpose of MP3 gain is to adjust the decibel volume levels of each of your MP3s to a standard. Now what this is going to do, it's going to prevent you, depending upon the song, from constantly having to turn the volume up, turn the volume down. If any of you have seen that, it's really, really annoying. Especially when you have people over and you're trying to keep everybody happy. Constantly adjusting the volume is really a pain. Uh, first thing we do, of course, is go to our trusty Google, type in MP3 gain, click on the link for MP3 gain, scroll to the top of the page and click on downloads. What we want to do is we want to download the most recent stable version. We'll notice here it's 1.2.5.exe. Go ahead, download, download it, install it, and once you've got that installed, we're going to go ahead and launch the application. So I'll type in my MP3 gain. So here's basically the way the application works. When you open it up, it's a very simple user interface. Um, you can click on Add Files. You can click on Add Folder. What I'm going to do is I've actually got a shortcut to my music files right here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the folder. I'm just going to grab an example. I'm going to drag and drop this pink house. Now what's going to happen is once you drag and drop it, um, typically what you're going to need to do is click this Track Analysis button. The Track Analysis is basically going to look through the entire album and it's going to find um, any discrepancies with the information. As you can tell, mine sped up. Um, I didn't want you guys to have to watch it process through the entire album. Um, so right now you're going to notice everything is done. Typically you'll see a file and a total progress bar um, that's going to be running as this processes. Now as you're going to notice, of course, the very first thing that stands out is we've got one red file called Crystal Ball. And what this is, it's basically telling you there's clipping on this. What the definition of clipping is, is when the original encoder encoded this MP3, um, they chopped a couple seconds off, they may have truncated the song. It's always a good idea to listen to this song because this is telling you that maybe there's something wrong. Typically when I found clipping, um, it's just a couple seconds at the end of the song are cut off. It might even be just dead space, which is why they trimmed it. But it's this is basically letting us know, hey, there could be clipping on this song that could affect the quality. It's definitely worth checking out, but MP3 gain is not going to help or hurt this. Now, if we look at this, we're going to see the standard that they said is 89.0. From what I've read up, it sounds like it's a pretty standard volume. In all honesty, it doesn't matter what this decibel volume is. As long as it's the standard, that's okay, because every song is going to conform to that. Now, when we look down, we're going to notice the volume on these varies. It really does. I mean, we've got 93s, we've got 91s. You know, this right here is 95, which is minus 6 decimals, all the way to 1.5. So if I was to listen to this album, there would be definitely times I would have to up and lower the volume in order to be able to keep that volume consistent. Now what this application does is it's going to basically take care of that for us. If I click on, after I click the track analysis, now I'm going to be presented with some options. I've got track gain, I've got album gain, and I've got constant gain. Constant gain to me is worthless. The only poor purpose of constant gain, let's say you've adjusted all your songs to 89.0, you don't like it being 89.0, you actually want it to be maybe 95.0, you could say take every song and add 5. Me, I really like to use the track gain. The track gain will go in and it'll look and basically adjust each track to be 89.0. The album gain, the only thing that I've determined with the album gain, you may want some albums louder than others. So you can actually set just the album level to a higher amount and that way if you want to keep that album higher it'll play louder. To me, just stick with track gain. It's really the best thing for you to use. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to notice we've got all the track gains here, 89. All I'm going to do is hit track gain. Now, what's going to happen is MP3 gain is going to analyze the songs. It's going to make adjustments to the decibel levels based upon the standard that I've set. Now, we're going to notice the track gain on every one of these is 0.0. .0. We'll notice there's going to be a little bit of discrepancies, 89.2, 88.8, very, very minimal. But what's going to happen now when I listen to this album or these songs, I'm going to notice that there's a very consistent volume type. I'll tell you what, I've processed about 3,500 MP3s. Eh, maybe closer to 4,000 MP3s with this. It takes a little while to run, but it's one of those just run it and walk away. It has significantly helped without me having to constantly adjust the volume up and down. So it's a very, very neat little application. Uh, that's really it. There's not a lot to this application. Um, I recommend definitely trying it out. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, of course, feel free to let me know. Thanks, everybody.